Today's a really exciting day here at the British Library because for the first time in 800 years we have brought together the four surviving original copies of Magna Carta. It's an unrepeatable day. Uh, these, these documents have never been together before uh, since 1215. Well, this is a very exciting day. It's the sort of thing that only happens every 800 years after all and we are thrilled that our Magna Carta is alongside its brothers and sisters here in the British Library. The Salisbury Magna Carta is the one that's never travelled except for when we put it in a quarry in Wiltshire during the Second World War for safekeeping. So it was a huge decision for us uh, to let it travel even to London uh, but I'm thrilled that we made that decision. It's, it's such an important anniversary. They've got minor differences within themselves and that's going to be part of the fun when the scholars actually get together and can look at them carefully and examine them, see the similarities and the differences, perhaps have some idea of who wrote these documents. Magna Carta is one of the foundational documents of the rule of law. It established the principle that no one, not even the king, is uh, above the law. That principle is as important today as it was 800 years ago. In the run-up to the unification, we announced a ballot and over 40,000 people entered from over 20 countries and we are really looking forward to welcoming the 1,215 lucky winners of those tickets to the library. The unification marks the beginning of a year of celebration. Lincoln Cathedral and Salisbury Cathedral are opening new displays this spring and we will be opening Magna Carta Law, Liberty, Legacy in March this year. When people look at these documents, they will be looking at the whole history of liberty. They will be very aware that actually there is no value uh, that is more important to us than freedom and the protection of justice. And so what this represents is not just a piece of narrative history, it's actually about our identity, about who we are. And I suspect therefore that everybody who sees the documents together will be inspired by the experience.